Welcome traders. In this video, we're gonna go over using the dollar sign add and dollar sign tick. And I am announcing that I have created a new Bloodhound template, which is based upon the dollar sign add. Basically what we want to see is we want to see a small movement in the dollar sign add when we get to a point which would be a trading decision. Now I have three Bloodhound templates on the three charts. The chart on the left is the Bloodhound template using VXX and that is on the ES chart. The chart in the middle is the SPY and the SPY is utilizing the UVXY symbol. And the chart on the right is the dollar sign add and the dollar sign add is using the new symbol with it being incorporated. So let's take a quick look and then we'll talk about some definitions. Now, what is new is that down here, you will see that the VIX is printing out on a bar by bar number. So when the bar closes on the dollar sign add, we have an adjustment in the dollar sign VIX down here. So we can very easily see that as price was making a high up here and I do mean price making a high on the ES chart. We can see that the VIX was coming off very strongly into this apex right here. And from that apex, we've had an 11 and a quarter point sell off to this low. Now, the chart I prefer to use to make my trading decisions is this SPY chart, which you're seeing right here and the high in the ad is correlating to right here. So the Bloodhound template gave us a signal, market traded down about three points, traded up uh, and then traded down the uh, 11 points. And you can see in real time, we've also just had another seven and a half point move uh, down while I've been explaining this. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at a steadily rising VIX and that's what's new and what you can do with the Zone Trader Pro software is there will be a new indicator in the indicator package that allows you to track this dollar sign VIX. What I've also done is I've come and I've used the patterns themselves and that is the Zone Trader Pro indicator. And I've manipulated in a way so that I have the tick numbers being displayed sometimes what looks like intra bar. And I've done this on purpose so that I can see right here the dollar sign tick was making a lower low than it had right here. And on this move up, it had made a lower high down here lower low and so on and so forth. I'm not necessarily using it as pattern identification because the patterns are not going to be synced to the zones. So you can ignore where it's, it is saying that there's a trend trade or an exhaustion trade. Some of the patterns will be the same, others will not. I've intentionally done this so that what is reading out here isn't necessarily the actual pattern. Again, if we come back to real time, we can see that we have a short trade being indicated from the SPY, the VIX is red, and we can see that the ad continues to go down. However, there's one small problem in that the VIX has come off from 20.48 down to 20.39. Ideally, we'd like to see that move just a little bit less before entering a trade. In the example here and at the high, the VIX had actually been moving higher 
into both of these uh, apexes here and here. That would have, of course, been an ideal entry. We see the ad continuing to move down, and now we've got our first tick up in the VIX. I've gone ahead and made an entry here. My entry is at 39.09, even, with a few micros, and let's see how that works out. And so far, so good. In the real-time analysis of this, we see the VIX creeping higher. We continue to see the ad continuing to drop. We do not have a real-time buy signal on the SPY. So unless the ad starts moving in the opposite direction, I'm going to hold to my target at 3904.50. And we are still a couple points from my profit target. The VIX is still ticking up just a little. The ad is continuing to make a lower low and I don't see anything on the SPY VIX template to tell me that I should pull the trade. So I'm going to stay with this a little while longer. And at this point we can see that our VIX has come full green and what I've decided to do is just tighten the stop up right here. We can also see that the ad has pulled back slightly, but what is most worrying is what the VIX is telling us right here, that the VIX is dropping. So don't wanna to risk too much on this trade. Market is moving back in our direction with the VIX down here ticking up. So again, I'm gonna stay with the trade see what happens at the test of the low. Almost to the target, the ad is cooperating and so is the VIX. However, we do have our real-time signal that we have accumulation divergence and now is the time that you need to make a decision do you stay with this? And what I am using as my guide is both the tick, the VIX, and the ad at this point. And I'm going to move the target to 550 target make, bill. and end up with a successful $70 trade, live trade while making this video. And as you can see, the VIX here had started to drop, the tick was going up, and the ad has posted a couple of positive bars. So. Let's take a quick look at what indicators and market internals are and the differences between the two. Indicators are things like the MACD, the RSI, the CCI, the Orwellian Index. Oh well, yeah, okay, I made that up. But indicators are a math problem and they are nothing more than a derivative of the underlying price. I don't use them because what the underlying price is telling us is what the indicator is also telling us. So if we see price going up, we know that price is going up. We don't need an indicator to tell us that. Market internals, however, are, are something different. And of course, what I take my main cue off of is the 
VIX and the VIX 9D. The dollar sign tick is representative of each stock on the NYSE having a value of either plus one or minus one based on its last uptick or downtick. We're going to talk about the dollar sign add shortly. And there's also things like the ticky and the trend that are, again, indications of the market internals or the breadth. The dollar sign ad itself is based on about the 2400 listings on the NYSE and the dollar sign ad can give a gauge of the breadth of the market if you're looking at a more of a macro picture. We're looking at it as somewhat of a micro picture to help us gauge whether or not we should be in a trade or whether or not we should be out of a trade. The dollar sign ad measures the net advancing stocks. So in other words, all of the stocks that are in the positive versus minus all of the stocks that are trading natively. So back to the real time chart. And ideally what we would want to see is we would want to see if we were looking to get short, we would want to see a very weak pullback in the indicator and then additionally we'd like to see an increasing VIX with a decreasing tick and what that looks like in real time is this trade right here which has been good again for 35 ticks or almost nine points so I'd mentioned a little earlier that I'd gone and created a new bloodhound template and what is in the new template is of course the dollar sign ad. So let's look at this spy chart right here with the UVXY template on this chart. I get asked this question a lot, which template do I favor? And my reply is, I think you should test the charts for yourself and based upon your testing decide on what you like best i tend to prefer this uvxy chart however what you may like is something different so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to trade based upon a trend so it's really unusual that at this high up here that we see the trend having changed and stayed red that is unusual in the trades here and here, these are trades that we can get involved with because we have divergence. We actually have a pattern right here of a broken reversal. And here we have a standard trend trade. When I got involved in this trade, price is just traded right here. Price traded slightly higher. And what was actually more important to me is that the VIX had changed to green. So based upon my trading plan, I went and moved my stop so that I had a five to one risk reward and price immediately traded in my direction and I had a successful trade. As we can see in real time right here, we now have the opposite. We have accumulation divergence and we have a green VIX. The one thing that we don't have though is we don't have the ad moving at all in that direction. But we do have the VIX, which again, I consider to be more important, falling down to 2026. And in order for this trade to succeed, we need to see the VIX dropping more, but we need to see the buying coming in. Again, we can see that the tick right here in real time is a negative 157. So, this is going to be something that we're just going to have to wait and see. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, there is a new template going to be available based on the addition of the dollar sign add symbol. So what I did is I made this template more responsive to the dollar sign add symbol than the trend symbols. So we are likely to get a 
faster signal, which is what we got up here and we got right here from the dollar sign ad being placed into the Bloodhound template soup. And again, what is uh, really neat about this, the way that this is used in conjunction with the template that's on the spy is we can see just how much or how small the charts are telling us that a particular move higher or lower is going to be. If we take this low right here, we can see that as price made its low here, along with the dollar sign ad making its low, Bloodhound pick, was picking up that buying and it was consistent. And at this point right here, we were back to having a green signal here, although not completely green. What I've gone and done is I've moved the threshold down to 40%. Again, that isn't a recommendation for you to do it. I'm doing this as a testing mechanism. And I like to see the combination going from either a solid color to a less solid color, or in this case, going from a solid green to a solid red. That's what is important to me. Again, we had that change over right here on this very strong move down. And then you could see the solid green as we traded higher into 212. Early in the morning at 10, at 10 o'clock, we can see how both templates went solid green and we got our first trade here from a double divergence, both special divergence and accumulation. And exactly what you want to see on the ad was a very small pullback, which would be normal. And at the time of our trade, we can see that the dollar sign tick is moving up and the VIX had fallen significantly at that point. Again, at our next trade, we saw hardly any pullback here. Our next long trade was here. And as you can see, when we're getting into that trade, the VIX is falling, the tick has just made a high, and the dollar sign ad is doing nothing but going straight up. At 10.50, here's another real good example. We have a short trade indication here, pretty much a textbook exhaustion pattern to go short. We have the VIX going in our favor and you can see that the VIX template with the ad sign was itself completely red from the high up here matching the spy template red and we got a nice trade out of this pullback here. When I am ready to distribute the new indicator files, I will make an announcement on the blog here. So if you haven't already done it, make sure you put in your name and your email so that you receive notification of the new VIX file. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact me.